Good afternoon. Pastor Jed here with this week's Elder Blip. And uh, I was thinking about something and some of the things that sometimes we say that just really don't make sense and really actually even run contrary to Scripture. And one of those phrases that I hear thrown around is, God helps those who help themselves. Well, I don't see that in Scripture. In fact, I honestly see the opposite. I mean, think about it. If God only helped those who were able to pull themselves up and, and, and do it, I mean, really, would those individuals even really need God? I, I see more so when we come to the scriptures that God helps those who can't help themselves. God helps those who are weak. God helps those who are lost. I mean, when we go through this world, when we go through the difficulties, uh, honestly, I don't want a God that's going to say, hey, I'll help you as soon as you actually help yourself there. I want a God that I can look to and, and know that when, when the world is difficult, when things are hard, I can go to him. When I am feeling weak, I can go to the one who's strong. I, I love what we see in, in Matthew. Matthew chapter 9, this is Jesus, and it says it in, in verse 35, it says, And Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. Here's Jesus where, where people are helpless, they're sick, they're dying, and, and Jesus is healing. It goes on to say, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. When, when Jesus looked at, at mankind, when he looked at the crowds, he saw those who were helpless. And he didn't look at them in disdain and say, get your act together. He had compassion on them. In fact, the compassion, the extent of his compassion is beautifully illustrated in Romans. Romans 5 verse 6 says this, for while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for the righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, one would dare even die. But God, but God shows his love for us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were lost in our sin, while we were hopeless and helpless, God's love, his compassion for the helpless, the hopeless, was there. And, and his, his love was so that he extended the greatest gift he could have ever given, his son, Jesus Christ. So next time someone says to you, you know, God helps those who help themselves, remind them that we were hopeless. We were helpless. We, God, God gave time and, and showed us that man could not do it. So he sent his son. And his son did what you and I could never do. God helps the helpless. Are you feeling weary? Are you feeling lost, discouraged? God helps you. He's strong. He's able. And he's compassionate. Just wanted to give you that thought for today. Hope it encourages you. Have a blessed week.